G'day viewers and welcome to my shed here in Victoria, Australia. Um, I put together this video just to give a bit of a demonstration on the different lighting output that you get from LED panel lights and LED high bay lights. Uh, so I'm an electrician by trade but I've uh, lost touch with a lot of the newer technology of LED lighting because uh, I haven't worked in the trade for a number of years so I got onto a Facebook group called My Efficient Electric Home, M-E-E-H, and asked um, a couple of people there their opinion on what kind of lighting I should install to replace the fluorescent lights that were already in here. So um, a lot of people suggested to um, upgrade the fluorescent tubes to uh, LED tubes, but the fittings I had in here were quite um, worn out and UV damaged. So, and other people suggested LED panels and other people suggested LED high base. So I ended up going for a belt and braces approach and went for the whole lot, but I've got them all switched independently. So I put together this video so that I could show um, what you would expect when you, if you only went for panel lights or high bay lights. Um, so um, I'll, I can switch these independently. So what I've done, um, I've got these Wi-Fi enabled um, switches that are available from Bunnings in Australia um, and I've got them um, running from a program called Home Assistant. You can put on a small Raspberry Pi computer and control them uh, with different firmware to what comes from the factory to these. So I made a little sequence. So when I turn that spare switch here on, I can switch from the panel lights to the high bay lights and uh, we can see the different light output. So I'll turn that on now. And so that's obviously high bay lights. And that's panel lights. So you notice with the uh, high bay lights, it's a quite a bright light, but it is quite shadowy. Uh, so if you only had the high bay lights, um, you'd probably have to have some either more high bay lights or a bit more other lighting to for infill for shadows. Uh, my idea was to go for, to not only get better lighting but lower wattage as well so I didn't want to install more high bay lights um, and so I thought I'll switch them independently and then I can um, change change the lighting for whatever tasks I'm doing so at the moment um, I'm doing some work on this um, old Ford on the door latch so you can see that's with the panel lights and that's with the high bay lights so Sorry about the birds running around on the roof. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that the um, when the high bay lights are on, it is it's bright but quite shadowy. So there you go. So that's the high bay lights. Phillips core line, 115 watt, um, 4000 Kelvin, um, and the panel lights, uh, the LED panel lights, the 32 watt, and you can switch them between color outputs. So I've got them at four and a half thousand Kelvin only because I looked at other lighting around at other factories and where they were using like, you know, 5,000 or 6,000 Kelvin lights and it's just way too blue for my, for my liking. So that's why I decided to go for four and a half thousand Kelvin. Um, so I'll put on all the lights and oops, hang on. I've got to stop this sequence from going yeah, there you go. So, yeah, and that's that's what it's like over here with, with all the lights on. So, yeah, a lot nicer to work on. And, yeah, obviously I only run them as I need them. So there you go. Hopefully that will help somebody else that um, is trying to decide what to do and what kind of lighting to put in. And um, I'll catch you later.